Hello everybody. I am glad you have joined me yet again for another lesson of Let's Learn Kikuyu with me your teacher Mwariwa Magi. Last time we went eating out. We defined eating out. We ordered some food and it's my belief we had to our fill. Now, fasten your safety belt as we ride in travel. Travel in Kikuyu can be defined in three ways. That is, kumagara, gudhi dhafari, or gudhi rogedo. Kumagara, gudhi dhafari, gudhi rogedo. In this lesson, I will be interchanging these terms. So don't get yourself confused. I will be referring to the same thing. And now, Traveling can be planned, and that is what we call the fari fage. The fari fage. Or unplanned travel, which is the fari itari fage. The fari itari fage. And now we are going to have a look at the reasons why people travel. In Kikuyu, we say that. Getomi ya kumagara. Getomi ya kumagara. So we ask ourselves, why do people travel? Niki getomaga ado maumagare. Niki getomaga ado maumagare. And we answer ourselves, ado maumagaraga nitodo. Ado Maumagaraga nitodo. To relax, maybe. Niodo wago the kuhuruka. Niodo wago the kuhuruka. All for business reason. Niodo wago the kefia sara. Niodo wago the kefia sara. Or maybe to educate themselves. Niodo wago diego doma. Niodo wago diego doma. Another reason out there is to expand one's perspective. Niodo wakwa da dura muesirie. Niodo wakwa da dura muesirie. All there could be a reason to celebrate then. Niodo wago kuguera. Niodo wago kuguera. And the reason why people maybe travel as a couple or as a group to strengthen their relationships. Niodo wawekira guatane rohinya. Niodo wawekira guatane rohinya. At this point, we turn our attention to the person who is doing the traveling and we ask ourselves, who is a traveler in Kikuyu? And a traveler in Kikuyu is Mudhi Wadhafari. Mudhi Wadhafari. And this traveling could be either a short distance, which we call the fari guhe, the fari guhe, or long distance, which we call the fari daihu, the fari daihu. And at this point, now we have a look at the things that we may consider before traveling, including the currency, which we call besa siafururi. Besa sia forori, and remember we said forori means country. The travel documents which we call marata di maku magara, marata di maku magara. The ticket that we simply call tigiti, tigiti, and a return ticket which we call. Tigiti wago die nagosoka. Tigiti wago die nagosoka. At this point now we take a look at the terms that are used in travel. For example, departure means gokora. 
gukura. Departure time means madha magukura. Madha magukura. When you departure, then you have an end expectation of arriving. So arriving in Kikuyu is gukinya. Gukinya. An airport is referred to as Kiharo Kiadege. Kiharo Kiadege. And Kiwaja Kiadege is also correct. A bus stop is Viteji Yabadi. Viteji Yabadi. Destination is Muiso Wadafari. Muiso Wadafari. And now let's pay attention to air travel, which we call Wodi Nadege. Wodi Nadege. So when you are doing the air travel, what you are actually using is the airplane, which we call Dege. Dege. The person who does the flying is known as the pilot. In Kikuyu, he is referred to as Mutualidia Wadege. Mutualidia Wadege. And now we are going to have a look at another means of travel, which is traveling by road, which is Wudie Nafarafara. Wudie Nafarafara. And Najira is also correct. And this is where you use the means of a bus, for example, which we call Badi, Badi, or a car that is referred to as Gari, Gari. Another means of travel is that of sailing, where you say Kogera Maine. Kogera Maine, and this is by the use of a boat, which is referred to as Gataro, Gataro, or a ship, which is called Mary, Mary. This list won't be complete if we don't include the rail travel, which we say Wodienareri. And this is where you get to you a train which is known as Mogidi. Mogidi. And now allow me to go to a car renting facility where we are going to have a conversation. Where you go in and say that you would like to rent a car. And you will say, Direda Gokobora. Gari. Dereda Gokobora Gari. And you ask how much it will be for one week. And you ask, Kumia Kemwe Nebe Sasigana. Kumia Kemwe Nebe Sasigana. The person renting the car says that one week is 27,000 Kenya shillings. That is to say in Kikuyu. Kumia kemwe nesiri gigiri mirogo eri na mwaja. Kumia kemwe nesiri gigiri mirogo eri na mwaja. Or maybe you find yourself in an office where you want to buy a flight ticket to Mombasa. Here you will say, Dereda kogora tigiti wadege wago thie mabatha. Dereda kogora tigiti wadege wago thie mabatha. The person selling you the tickets ask you what dates you are traveling. She or he will ask, Urau magara medenya eriku. Urau magara medenya eriku. Then, for example, if you are buying a return ticket that is 1st of July and the return date is the 8th of July, then you will say, Dereda tigiti wago soka kuma mweli emwe wa mwaja o ginya mweli inyanya o wa mwaja. Dereda tigiti wago soka kuma mweli emwe wa mwaja o ginya mweli inyanya 
all wa mugwaja. Now here, let's take a look at the phrases that I used during travel, like get away. Get away in Kikuyu is also kumagara. Kumagara as in travel. If you want to use get away in a sentence, for example, I want to get away next week, then you will say, Direda guka umagara kiumia giki kigi. Direda guka umagara kiumia giki kigi. And kiumia giki kiroka is also correct. Another phrase is that of see off. In Kikuyu, that means kumagaria. Kumagaria. And to have a look at it in a sentence, can I see you off? No ureke gumagarie. No ureke gumagarie. While set off is gokura. Gokura. And to have a look at it in a sentence, we shall set off for the Rift Valley at 11 a.m. Togukura turorete Rift Valley da idano. Togukura Turorete Rift Valley da idano. Bolding being another phrase is kuhaisa. Kuhaisa. Bolding time means da sia kuhaisa. Da sia kuhaisa. And to use it in a sentence, we are boarding the bus. Neko haisa tura haisa badi. Neko haisa tura haisa badi. Once you board, then surely you'll have to get off at some place. So get off is wosuka. Wosuka. To look at it in a sentence, we shall get off at Mwembe Tayari Station. Togo sukira sese nine ya Mwembe Tayari. Togo sukira sese nine ya Mwembe Tayari. And Mwembe Tayari being a place in this case. While traveling, you might also be tempted to ask some of these questions like, Is it far? Neharaya. Neharaya. And if it's far, then you will be told, yes, it is far. E neharaya. E neharaya. And if it's not far, then asatiharaya. Asatiharaya. Or even ask, is it close? Nehakuhi. Nehakuhi. Or how long does it take to get there? Nitakahida kaiga natia nige do kinyeho. Nitakahida kaiga natia nige da o kinyeho. The answer could be it's maybe one hour. Nita ida remue. Nita ida remue. Or it could be like half an hour. Nita ha nududa. Nita ha nududa. Supposedly, you are traveling by car, you've reached your destination, but you are confused about where to park. So you ask, where do I park? Jige garie noha. Jige garie noha. Or better still, no jige garie noha ha. No jige garie noha ha. Meaning, can I park this car here? By bad luck, if you find yourself in a situation where your car suddenly stopped in the middle of the road and you want to tell somebody, then you'll say, Gari ya kwa yaro gamira fara gatagati. Gari ya kwa yaro gamira fara gatagati. And you go ahead and ask them where you can fix it. Neko igedho dekeru gari. Neko igedho dekeru gari. Well, at this point now you have been shown where to fix your car and you need a taxi to proceed with your destination. So the taxi guy asks you, what is your destination? And he will ask, Uradhi Ginyako. Uradhi Ginyako. 
Yo ansa dira die guinagia. Dira die guinagia. Then you mention the name of your destination. He is a kind taxi guy, so he asks you where you would prefer to sit in his taxi. So he asks, Ukweda goikara gete ne kiriku. Ukweda goikara gete ne kiriku. And he inquires if you have any luggage with you. He asks, Wena merigo. Wena merigo. And if you do, then you say, Eh, dina merigo. Eh, dina merigo. And if you don't, then you say, Asadire na merigo. Asadire na merigo. And now, I ask you a few questions about traveling. I ask you, Have you ever been abroad? Nyuri wo bukanaja wa furori. Nyuri wo bukanaja wa furori. And if you have, then you say, Eh, ne de do buka. Eh, ne de do buka. And if you are frequent flyer, then you will say, Eh, ne nyo buka ga kaige. Eh, ne nyo buka ga kaige. And if you have never been abroad, then you will say, Asa dire do buka. Asa dire do buka. Now I ask, where was your last trip? Niko wirige tagu dhye dhafari. Niko wirige tagu dhye dhafari. Your answer, my last trip was, Jirige te muenore ya wa. Jirige te muenore ya wa. Then you mention the place you were in your last trip. I ask you, where else are you planning to travel next? Niko koge urafaga gudhi dhafari. Niko koge urafaga gudhi dhafari. Your reply, I am planning to go to. Dirafaga gudhi na korea. Dirafaga gudhi na korea. Then you mention the place you are planning to go. I ask you, what is the longest trip you have ever taken? Nitha fare eriku daihu ore wadhi. Nitha fare eriku daihu ore wadhi. Or better still I ask, which is the best place you've ever been to? Neko kwega ogyuga wanadhi. Neko kwega ogyuga wanadhi. I continue to ask, has something bad ever happened to you while traveling? Niuri wona odomuru dhafari nisiaku. Niuri wona odomuru dhafari nisiaku. And last but not least, what impact do you think traveling makes in one's life? Niodo oriko ogiuga ku magara wikaga motori ne wa modo. Niodo oriko ogiuga ku magara wikaga motori ne wa modo. And on that impactful note, my dear listener, we have come to the end of our lesson for now. My sincere hope that you enjoyed the ride with me and traveling to the Kikuyu land has been made easier for you now going forward. Please subscribe to my channel and join me in the upcoming lessons as we continue to learn Kikuyu. From me, it's goodbye.